Day 5. Evolution. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to more Parasite Eve. Now, when we were last together, we found Eve was in the hospital, and she escaped with a sperm sample. And now, we're afraid she's going to give birth to the ultimate being. We're having a manhunt for her. Now, we've been kicked back to the map of Manhattan here, with a couple of new places for us to check out. You can see we have over here the warehouse, which is actually a kind of side optional area. We have Chinatown over here, which is where we really want to go. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stop at the police department. much nicer than before. This new area includes new dangerous enemies. So I want to try to pump up our armor and our weapon a little bit. I heard the captain saved Ben's life. Shiva was his partner when he was a rookie. Must have been hard for him to shoot her. Yeah, we heard about that already. Okay, Wayne, my buddy. Um, we want to withdraw an item. We're actually going to take one of those weapon mods. Well, not necessarily has to be a weapon mod. We're actually going to use it for our suit of armor. And let's take a look at our armor. see if there's any armor that will protect us from a particular effect. Hmm, doesn't seem to be the case. Might have to grab this one to move those bonuses. jacket. Alright, so now we have an extra slot. Here you go. Nothing to it. jacket. And we're going to take the bonuses from the SV Vest 1. Now we'll lose the extra item slot ability because a tool will destroy the base item. But now we have all those extra bonuses. And I should also take a look at our weapons. Let's see. Now, I don't think any of our weapons have anything I really want to move over there. Like fire damage, burst. I think that's poison.
You've got a couple of bonuses on you. You've got plenty. I think I'll take yours. What I really wanted, though, was something to protect me. Because the enemies we're about to take on are annoying, to put it lightly. Power up our jacket a little bit. And let's round off our rifle. We're going to visit Chinatown. Now, Chinatown's not exactly a big area, but it's got some little nooks and crannies here that you want to keep your eyes open for so you don't miss stuff. Right over here we have a foot locker. Medicine 3, which I'm sure I'll get good use out of. And PE plus 1. Let's use that right now. Alright, let's take a look at our first group of enemies. This time it's big cats, not big rats. And these guys fire a blast that kind of home at you. I think four or five bullets should do it. Maybe less, because we have powered up our gun. Cats and snakes. I think we should be able to put you down at about five. Alright, snakes don't want to do nothing. M79-2 Grenade Launcher. Let's see, three shots, and I think that's poison. It's not too bad, but it is not going to cut it for what we need. In fact, I'm still thinking about putting more points into our armor and our gun. Let me 
you see this little area was hiding on us. And here we find the M1911A2, a type of handgun, three shots. Okay, base stats. And there's our buddy Maeda. Let's see what he has to say. Yeah, it's here. It looks like rotten meat. I'm going to go down to have a look. Notify Daniel for me. Y yes, wait. Here, take this. And we got the Narita. A good luck charm. Careful now. Well, before we go down to the sewers, we have a treasure chest. Extra ammo. Actually, we're talking about ammo, let's reload our gun. Let's head down to the sewers. Now, like the sewers in just about any video game, the sewers under China, Little Chinatown here are, well, kind of maze-like and annoying. We're not going to spend too much time down here. I'm just going to grab some of the items, and then we're going to leave. That's not the way I wanted to go. Well, might as well. No, well, there we go. I knew we were going to get attacked by enemies sooner or later. These bat-looking things are terrible. They have a sort of sonic attack that can strike you from pretty far. But what it does is it blinds you. And when you're blind, you can't hit. Okay. Let's throw a haste on us. We can use one of our powers to help us out. Slow down the bat. I don't know if it worked. I hope it worked. No, I'm still blind. There we go. Hopefully it'll only take two shots to put down that bat. Missed. Do a little healing. Well, that's too much healing. And yeah, let's use the offense bonus on our gun. Keep your eyes open, because some of the goodies are hard to find. They're going to be like little flashing specks. Oh, bats. Right. Try to put you down as quick as I can. So much for that idea. Since we're getting these cure darknesses, I should put them to good use. No 
nothing around here. Don't be hiding out, wait. The M870 shotgun. Two shots would burst. Maybe blast. I'm not quite sure which is the proper term. That has a chance to do damage to pretty much all the enemies in front of it. Well, we're not exactly outside. But we're not running around through the tunnels anymore. Actually, you can kind of make out a treasure chest in that top right corner. We'll be happy. We'll have a chance later to get that. All right, it's starting to get low on space. That, there's one of those sparkles I was talking about. A tool. Tools are good. We already used up a couple. There we are. Well, we're going to have to start making our way back to the police station soon, so I can drop off all these goodies. But I'll do that off screen. for now. And we level up. And we've learned Gene Heal, which slowly recovers HP. So instead of just having a big boost to healing in one go, we slowly heal more over time.
Alright, we already opened up that crate. Ah, I think I saw something. Yep. Offense plus one. Let's use some of our points again. and bullets are just fine. Let's get our parasite energy up a little more. Maybe that will help deal with all this damage I've been taking. Yep, there's the treasure chest. First one we opened when we got down here. There's a ladder. Hey, Maeda. Maybe Eve is with the slime? Well, we're gonna find out. Fully expecting to get attacked by more cats and more snakes. Well, what do you know? We lucked out. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back in Chinatown. Alright, more cats. So I think I said four shots. Or maybe it was five. Thankfully, we don't have to spend too much time, too much more time down here. I'm going to try to pick up the last few goodies that I think are down here. And then we're just going to, just going to try to finish the area.
There we go. A super tool. Now, super tools are very nice. They work similarly to a regular tool, except they don't destroy the base item. So you can move a stat or an effect from one piece of equipment to another, and both pieces of equipment will remain intact. Alright, Froggy. Medicine too? Oh, we'll take that. Try to sneak that item by me. Go on, Aya, pick it up. Cure darkness. Yeah, well. There are enemies down here that do that to us. And speaking of which. If I can only get good at dodging. You, target one, you did not shoot us yet. So I can kill you before you shoot. I have no clue what happened there. Why we lucked out and got completely missed. Good XP though, I think we're getting just around 900 for those three bats. Don't need that many cure D's. Medicine four restores four hundred HP. Now that will be good when we start fighting some of the big bad enemies. And there are some down here waiting for us. Well, not here, per se. But around. Alright, what have you got for me? Bats. But also a treasure chest. Ah, you missed. So could it be that all this time, I've been an idiot, and if I just stood ever so still, those attacks wouldn't hurt us? Ooh, the CR Protector. With our max HP going up, but our attack value going down. Well, we don't want our attack value to go down. We do like the idea of our max HP going up. Now, I have a super tool, and I could move it that way. But I'd rather save the super tool for something a little better. Because I honestly don't care if we keep that particular suit of armor intact or not, because I don't want our attack going down. and snakes. That should do it. Maybe I shouldn't have sat there and got a bit. We'll take the cure D. <laughs> you 
Yeah, reload. Let's drop these QRDs. Just too many of them. Taking up space. Space that we need for other pieces of equipment. Dash three grenade launcher. We, we found a couple of grenade launchers here already, haven't we? Well, honestly, I might need to take another trip to the police station. Medicine three. I'm not going to take another trip back to the police station if I don't have to. Going up. Need be, I'll just drop more of our equipment. was a goodie over this way. It's Club 3. Club 3 gives us a chance to strike first in combat. Also gives us a chance to steal an item. I usually don't use it that much, to be honest with you. I don't know this for a fact, but I'm pretty sure the items that you steal are the items that you would get from winning the fight anyways. If someone can confirm that, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> 